finally the secret is out of the bag and it is no longer a secret again if you followed my last video i shared that you know the killing from the killing of that woman in kaduna the women the woman um leader in kaduna and also to the raising down of a restaurant of another woman again in taraba state these all you know signifies that these other political parties are now realizing that the labor party like is a major threat now this apc shifting has come out even on national television on arise news where it declared and announced that you know article is not even a threat to, to them they don't they, you know they don't feel the heat from the article camp that it is peter obi that scares them the most it is peter obi that they are afraid of because they know that hmm this man has a lot of fun he has a lot of people behind him he has a lot of supporters hmm. now the question is is that why these people have been terrorizing the labor party is that why that assassination in kaduna state happened is that why you know they decided to raise down and burn the restaurant of that innocent woman who is um, a labor party women leader also in taraba state hmm. let me know what you think in the comment section guys before we go ahead with the details of today's news if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe turn on the post notification bell give this video a massive thumbs up subscribe leave your comments in the comment section as well let's discuss and share opinions in the comment section without further ado let's delve into the details of today's news Osita Kechuku, a chieftain of All Progressive Congress APC, has expressed confidence that Bola Tinobu, the flag bearer for the All Progressive Congress, will surely win the presidential election in 2023, among other contenders, but raised concerns about possibility of Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, According to the statement released by the APC Shifton, the party is not worried about Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, in the upcoming presidential election. The statement was released on Monday morning while making an appearance on the Arise television morning show program. He further stated that Atiku had lost his base claiming that it will be difficult to harvest Buhari's 12 million votes. He said, and I quote, As per Ashiwaju Bola Metinobu, what nobody can deny is that he knows the onion, he knows the gravitas, he knows the country, and he has come a long way, and we are not bothered about PDP. For instance, as Atiku has lost his base, we are more bothered about Peter Obi and others. Kwakwaso, we know he is qualified and highly capable, but he is riding against the zoning convention. And so, if you tell us about Peter Obi, then we can say, okay, that is where we are worried, but not about Atiku. He has lost his base. Atiku cannot win. I challenge those who are saying so. He cannot harvest Buhari's 12 million votes. He cannot. He does not have Buhari's votes bank, he said. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts and your reactions. In the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to this channel please make sure you do subscribe but before i go hmm. oh my god i just hope this does not mean um that uh, these people are going to unleash more violence and mayhem on the labor party members i just hope this does not translate to that because how do you come out on national television and tell nigerians that peter will be a threat like you see peter will be as a threat because and as well, you do not see Atiku as a threat because, you know, people already believe that it should be zoned to the eastern part of the country uh, or the Yoruba, you know, 
Awusa people have been there for more than eight years. So maybe that is going to work against him here, of course. You know, and he's all, he, he, all I know is these other political parties, you know, even all of them in general should just face their own campaign. Like, campaign what you want to campaign. Campaign your own campaign, you know. Do not look at what other people are doing. Do not feel threatened and therefore start, you know, sending talks to other people just to stop them or just to delay them, you know. And uh, another thing to also take note of is all these people burning down INEC offices. Like, what do you guys think? What is the motive behind all this? Because I don't seem to understand. You know, even before, you know, before 2022, a lot of people have been saying they are not going to allow the election to hold. They are, you know, election is not going to hold in the East as far as they are concerned because of Biafra. You know, we've been hearing a lot. And I feel that the recent burning down of INEC offices across the country might be one of the attacks to make sure that the election does not hold. But I just think these people are wasting their time. Like, they are wasting their time because the election is still going to hold. Even if, okay, you decide to cause mayhem, you decide to destroy things, it might not hold in your own area, but it's sure as hell going to hold in the other part of a country. You know, you are just, these people are just trying to, you know, delay, delay the inevitable because whether they like it or not, it is, it is just going to happen because I don't know, I don't know how the burning of INEC office, how it relates with the, maybe the eventual, eventual results of the election. Let me know what you all think in this, in the comment section, because at this point I am confused. Because I don't even know the purpose. Is it that they do not even want the election to happen at all? Or is it that uh, they are delaying? Or is it that they, they, by, by that they will be able to, you know, tamper with the eventual result of election? Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. I will see you in my next video, guys.